Seven done. Two more. We're just hitting a nail in there. So there's a lot of screws and nails coming together. And then it quite often it happens that this screw is hitting another screw or nail and it can go through. But I think it's just going besides it. But um, yeah, it's going well. A lot of work. Because here the, the gutter is quite a bit thicker. There's a bit of a wave in here is following it's just the shape of the tree so the supports have to be quite a bit shorter here compared to there also because the gutter is going down it's going downwards that side so it drains the pipe is gonna go gonna be there but uh, it's going well Fresh pack of snow, another 10 to 15 centimeters. And I think the rest of the week is gonna be dry, but very cold. So the snow is gonna stay. I was actually staying in an Airbnb yesterday because uh, because of the cold weather, you know, can't take a shower here. And even this water jug is freezing, so when it's just a few degrees colder, the amount of problems just multiply, you know. 
Yeah, these are the problems of winter when the coffee is stuck against the rubber. Everything freezes. And it's not even that cold. I mean, it's minus two now, and it's gonna be colder, but. You know, soap freezes, olive oil, well, olive oil goes hard, even with warmer temperatures, honey, and this is frozen, can't use this, can't use that, so that's why I'm staying for a few days in an Airbnb, because I want to, if I want to have a good working day, I need to be well rested and oh, the rubber is fresh coffee on the way. I'm enjoying myself though. I like all these little adventures. Look at that sky, huh? It was just very cloudy. You know, that's why I'm saying I'm enjoying myself. This is what the beautiful part of living outside and in a tent. You know, next year, when I'm in, next winter, when I'm probably in the cabin, I would get up, I would see it would be very cold, and I would stay inside a bit more. And you don't witness this beautiful change of colors and light and clouds you know I was just having little problems in the kitchen but then seeing this it's just gorgeous makes it worth it
order some copper pipes. So at the ends are gonna be a pipe to the wall and then down, down to wherever. I think copper will color nicely with this eventually. In the beginning they're very kind of bright but in a few months already they color brown. It's a cold week. I'm glad I'm staying in town for a few days. But traveling up and down is uh, it's taking a long time and it's quite a stressful drive in the snow. Because I don't put the snow change on because that's a hassle too. So it takes a bit longer because I have to go slow. Usually it takes half an hour to get to town but now it takes close to an hour. I think I'll put the stove on in the tent and do some painting there. It will heat up in the afternoon as well when the sun is on there.
before I last round on this gutter. I ordered this big chisel just before I started on the gutters in November on Etsy. But it had to come from Ukraine, so it took forever to come here. It just arrived. Um, but it's a nice big chisel. And uh, it's still a bit, little bit rough, so I can smooth it out a bit more. Then a tar layer. I bought a bucket of B2 Fer, which is basically liquid tar, which I can paint inside. Um, I have a layer of linseed oil, but it's not. I, I think with all the cracks that are in the wood, with water going in them and freezing, I think it's just better to have a tar layer in the end. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm doing it in the tent. So here it's freezing, so any liquid and paint is not going to adhere. So I'm, I'm working in the tent where it's warm, but this I'll do here. So, here in the end of the gutter needs to be made a hole. This is going to sit in there and this is going underneath. That goes with a piece of pipe towards the wall and then it goes alongside the wall down. And then I can collect the rainwater but I'll have to, that is something for later if I want that because there's so much water here you know the water reservoir which is 400 meters uphill is always spilling water there's much more water than we actually can use here Thank you. 
Got some books from um, Mauro, he lives not far from here, and he lent me these because they're all about construction of well, houses here in the region, stone houses, but also the terraces, uh, roofs, uh, just landscaping, all kinds of things. It's really interesting. Um, it's all in Italian though, so it's a bit difficult for me, but... Yeah, farming, it's very interesting to go through. I can put the... I'll put the titles in the description so you can look them up if you're interested in that. These, this is how my gutters will look in a uh, hundred years. From well, Germanaska, so that's not far from here. First tile layer is on. I'll have to do another one next week. It has to dry first, but uh, uh, it's a bit messy job. But it will be much better for the wood. Yeah, there, was, there were already cracks inside of the wood, sort of splitting, and this is really protecting it. So. It's warming up too. Next week it's going to be sunny and above zero, so it's going to be nice. I'll be staying here. Again. Thank you. 